Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I have something fun. I got this from Hand Stitch Leather Tea and this is my first real leather pen roll. This is in the same mahogany leather as the notebook that I originally purchased from her and here is a comparison of the mahogany leather with that tobacco light leather. And I would say that this is probably my favorite leather from her shop, the favorite color from her shop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is kind of show you the different parts and then also show you what I have in here. I literally got this about a couple of days ago and I really like it. I don't really have other pen rolls to compare it to as I've been storing a lot of my fountain pens and other accessories in the pouches, uh, the Delphonics pouch. So, so she offers free personalization on your leather roll. And I also asked for the stitching color to be a light brown so that it, you can kind of tell a difference between the stitching and the color of the pen roll. And then, of course, this color is called mahogany. So I wanted for my personalization for it to say carrots and olives. She calls this font the Mathilde. Mathild. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but I will link it below. And I really like it because it doesn't seem, it seems kind of laid back font and fun. Also, her leather rolls come with a large pouch area and then three smaller areas. So Tanya was able to add an additional section which wouldn't normally be there unless you were to ask her for customization. And I asked for an additional larger section in my pen roll. Um, the ones that she has posted, the standard ones would not have an additional larger section. And then she has her logo here, which is stitched and it's kind of embossed in there and then this just flaps over. Now the only thing that I am a little bit worried about is this back strap. This strap is the same leather that's used, but since her leather is kind of, it's not very thick, but it's not thin either, it is, questionable as to how long this will last. I have a feeling that when I pull it over, as I fold it, sometimes I feel like it's it might rip or tear off. Now she has really good quality stitching and I don't think, I can't imagine that happening right away maybe if I use too much force and pulling it around, but that's the only thing I'm worried about when it comes to this pen roll, is just the strap. It is a bit on the thinner side. I would have thought it would be almost like a belt loop size or a belt size of like an inch or so. It seems like it's a little bit less than half an inch wide. And this is what the back looks like. I really like the mahogany color leather because of the striations you get in her leather. And you see that throughout all of her leather because she only uses one type of leather and then I believe she dyes it. So, on to the inside. Now the inside of her leather is really smooth, the nap which is like the hairy part of the leather on the inside is very clean. It's not really hairy, hairy. And 
it's smooth. It almost has a velvet-like texture. Now, as for what I have in here, I currently use this to hold my fountain pens and a couple of uh, ballpoint. Well, I have one ballpoint and then I have a fine liner. So I have here, this is my Bennu pen. And this, I would say, is one of the fatter pens I own, and it fits in here pretty snugly. So, just to give you an idea for those of you who own fountain pens, if I, most of my pens here are fitting in pretty snugly. Also, I have a Franklin Kristoff, which is, I would say, a regular size pen. And then I can squeeze in a Muji gel pen in here as well. I have my Sailor 1911 fountain pen. And this is a short pen, just to give you an idea. The shorter pens that have the clips fit better in this pen roll. I would say for instance, a Twisby may not fit very well in here with the clip to hold it onto your, um, the strap, the leather. So something kind of as short as a Sailor will hold on very well. Now these two don't have any clips as you can tell, but they still fit in nicely and they still seem to hold, hold it inside each section really nicely as I dump it over. So here I have another Sailor pen in the blue. And then I have a Tasha, I think that's how you pronounce it, pen. And this is also a fountain pen with the Sailor nib. And this one is a lot taller than the regular Sailor pens, and so you can kind of tell how it only barely holds on to the leather here. Now in this pouch, I have, of course, my Fude, uh, my Fude fountain pen, which I've talked about in multiple videos. I have a Copic fine liner. And you can see even when I stick the fine liner in there, it barely catches on on the edge. And then I have a Franklin Kristoff pouch that holds my Lamy 2000 and another Franklin Kristoff pen. A Lamy or Lamy barely, it's even less so that it actually can catch onto here. So that's why I actually keep it in another pouch and zip it up and then put it in here and that fits really nicely. Now these pouches, this size is not very big. I even tested it with my cell phone and this is an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X and when I stick it in there, it's very snug and it would take extra effort for it to go all the way to the bottom. And I think over time, as the leather stretches, it may be able to fit in there. But you can see how it's almost perfect size for it. It's just, it's really tight. And that's that has a lot to do with just the leather not stretched all the way. So I put the pouch in here. I have some rulers, and these are short rulers, they're only six inches. And actually, I should probably use the ruler to measure the width of these. So this one is three inches. This is about the same, three inches, and then the smaller sections or one and a half inch, yeah. Just to give you a reference if this would fit for you. I think this is a good 
pen roll to start off with. This pouch does not seem like it's as big as the Superior Labor pouch. And it seems like the strap may be a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. But I think this is a really good option, um, a really great price, and very great leather. So it will scratch up. I know this leather, it doesn't scratch up with every single little nick and, and um, every time you drop it or something, this leather doesn't scratch up. But over time, it will get those scratches. And here's just an example of my notebook that I've talked about a couple times. I did a review or a first impression about a month and a half ago and I haven't been out of it since. You can see the edges are a little, just a little rough. And you can see all the dents and nicks and knacks for me just tossing it around. I do have a lot of dents from putting my pens in here. And as they slide in there, they kind of scratch the leather, but I like that. And it doesn't seem like, it seems like it's almost part of the leather with all the striations in the leather as well. So this is just a really dark, deep, rich, reddish brown. And I think it's showing up pretty true to color in here. So anyway, this is the pen roll I got. If you're interested, check out Tanya's shop. I will link her below. She does, she is closed right now, but she will be opening up um, at, towards the later half of the month of December. So check out her shop if you're interested. I did purchase this with my own money. This was not gifted to me, and this is not a sponsored video, just so you know. So when I fold it up, I have to fold this side in right now. I'm thinking over time I may be able to fold both sides in, but I fold this one in first. So if you're a little bit nervous about whatever pen is on this side, I would make sure that it fits pretty well in this um, outside section. So I fold it up and buckle it together. And you can hear that new leather sound, that squeaky, the squeaky sound, which I just, I love. It smells really good. It's really soft in the hands. And for those of you who have purchased leather from her, you know what I mean when I say it's like squishy and soft. And it's not really that stiff, to be honest. And I thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!